And finally, donkeys, often overlooked in the much-loved animal gang of cats and dogs, quietly go about their lives on farms, carrying heavy bags on their backs. They are rarely part of the global conversations. However, animal rights activists and experts are fighting for these donkeys. For years, these unassuming animals have been smuggled and slaughtered for skin care. And at the center of this controversial global donkey trade is China. Our next report explains. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word donkey? A grey-coloured, medium-sized animal. An animal known to carry loads of items on their backs. We bet skin care would not be on that list. But these animals, who for centuries have acted as the backbone of many rural households, are falling prey to a controversial global trade. In recent years, they've been smuggled and slaughtered in the name of skin care. Here's how it started. In China, a traditional medicinal remedy called Ijiao has been in high demand. Ijiao is made from the gelatin found in donkey skin. It's believed to have health-enhancing and youth-preserving properties. Women have been consuming it to stay beautiful and healthy. It's also considered good for fertility. The donkey skin is boiled first to extract the gelatin, which is then made into powder, pills and even added to food. Over the years, an increasing demand has led to a staggering number of donkeys being slaughtered annually. According to reports, over 5.9 million donkeys are killed each year to cater to the supply. In Africa, where about two-thirds of the world's 53 million donkeys live, the trade has had a devastating impact on the donkey population. The high demand and high price for donkeys have led to a rise in thefts and illegal trades. Between 2016 and 2019, roughly half of Kenya's donkeys were killed for the skin trade. The Ijiao producers initially sourced donkey skin from China. Its market in China reportedly touched a value of about $7.8 billion in 2020. However, the donkey population in China has plummeted drastically. It has fallen from 11 million in 1990 to under 2 million in 2021, which made the producers look for skin overseas. This is when slaughterhouses were set up in Africa, South America and Asia. But not everyone is blinded by the charms of this booming beauty industry. Animal rights activists and campaigners are protesting against the rapid growth of skin trade. There has been social media outcry over shrinking donkey populations across Africa. They're demanding the shutdown of slaughterhouses and a ban on donkey trade. Donkeys have been a lifeline to many small-scale farmers. They are highly adaptable and can go on for at least 24 hours without water. But with the shrinking numbers, many are being deprived of this lifeline. But are donkeys worth more to a developing economy dead or alive? More importantly, it leaves us, the consumers, to ponder upon the impact of the choices we make. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.